Hello, I'm here this evening with uh, an exciting new review of the Nilo Kayaks 510. It's the Nilo 510 Surf Ski done in plastic. This is exciting because I think this is the first English language uh, third party independent review of this boat. I just brought it home yesterday and today is the first time I have it out on the water. I'll give you a quick overview of some of the features and then I'll get in it and uh, take it for a test paddle. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice about this boat is how sleek it is. Very skinny up front, that's sort of a trademark of Nilo. Um, again, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, this is an exact, the exact design of the Nilo 520, but this is done in plastic. All right, so it's got a cockpit. It's got a hatch cover. This is a soft half hatch cover. It also came with a hard hatch cover. I'll show you that in a minute. And here is the rudder. It comes equipped with an understern rudder. And you'll see that here. And that simply attaches in this little hatch. Now I had mine set up and there was confusion on the internet, w internet whether this is possible or not. I had them set mine up for an overstern rudder because I do a lot of uh, downriver races and I can't uh, really have a, an understern rudder there. It'll get ripped off. And once that comes in, it was on back order. I'll just uh, detach the understern, run these lines to the overstern, and I'll have a great overstern kick up rudder. Here's a look at the hull of the boat from stern to bow. You see it is a nice rounded hull. There's no flat areas like the old Octane had. Um, I bought that boat thinking it might be a match for the V7, but it was not because of the design. It has a nice smooth rounded hull the whole way. Uh, it's got a little bit of flare right at the bucket where the paddler sits. Um, and it's got very little rocker in it. I'll swing around and take a wide angle. Uh, so that should give it a really long water line and uh, hopefully make it fast. We'll get another shot once it's sitting in the water, but you can see here there's just not very much discernible rocker. So it should be a good long water line for this boat. The specs you'll find online, um, I'm just giving you the really the features and answers to questions that I could not find online myself. So, uh, excited. So there's the soft hatch cover. And like I said, it came with a hard hatch cover too, uh, which I like. It'll be a little bit more watertight when I hit some waves. The bucket seems pretty ample. And what I really like is it's got carrying handles molded into the plastic so you can just reach right over and grab onto it, uh, molded into the plastic. It's got the a drain or the bailing system here where you just kick it open with your heel and push it, push it closed. That's to uh, drain the water out of the uh, bucket area. The footrest has a really cool feature where it's got a plastic camera mount molded in. And you can see I plan to take advantage of that here this evening. Um, so you can have a GoPro or similar type camera mounted uh, right to the foot holder. And then the foot brace itself has a couple pedals. And to adjust these, you just pull a rope. And that pulls the pedal up. And then if you want to click it back, you just press a button here. And that will release the pedal and let it go forward. Okay, so from sitting behind the bucket here, looking forward, you got that very narrow bow. Again, trademark feature of Nilo kayaks. The foot rest, the seat with a little bit of a, a notch in the back rest here to, to kind of let water drain out if need be and let air circulate on your back and uh, make some room for your spine. So it is time to get this bad boy in the water and uh, I'll, I usually do a little initial stability test just to get a feel for the boat and uh, then take it for a paddle and give you my first impressions. Easy peasy. It feels nice and stable. Um, it's 
It's got a nice, nice little piece of secondary stability right here on this edge. Pretty smooth when it's upright. The average paddler is going to think this is pretty twitchy, um, but it does have some, some catch and a stability once you get it over, I don't know, about 25 degrees or so. Uh, so feels good. Foot pegs are adjusted. Let me adjust the, the camera here and take a few strokes and see what she can do. Great glide, it's still going. It's gonna glide all the way in. All right, first impression, it's everything I thought it was going to be. It's a very fast boat. Obviously slices through the water, and once waves hit and it gets choppy, it's gonna slice right through them. The understern rudder is new to me. Uh, the control of the boat is a little bit different than an overstern rudder, so I'm gonna have to get used to that. But remember, I'm a lake and river paddler. Rarely, if ever, am I in the ocean, so I'll, I'll not get the benefits of an understern rudder. As a matter of fact, it'll be a detriment because I'm more likely to hit rocks on the bottom of a, ri a river and tear the understern rudder off. So, with that caveat, the handling is a little bit different than what I'm used to, but the boat is really fast, really stable. Love it. I can see I'm going to have a ton of fun on this thing. I'm looking at you, V7. That boat is fast. Great boat, great speed. While I was out there, I actually reached forward and, and pushed my foot bar a little bit further out. I needed a little bit more leg room. I was opening and closing the uh, self baler. So obviously it's, it's very well balanced, easy to handle. If you're a beginner to intermediate level paddler in a surf ski, you'll have no problem whatsoever in this boat. It's very stable for what it is. Good job guys at Nilo. Love this boat already. Can't wait to log hundreds of miles with it. Take care. Now this is Ben. He's a little older than the kayak ergometer video. I think he was, how old you were you? Seven or eight back then? He's 13 now and almost as tall as I am. He asked if he could sit in the boat, so I'm letting him do it. What's your first impression, Ben? Uh, it's a little tippy, but manageable. Manageable? All right. So here we have a true novice paddler. First time in the Nilo 510. And we're going to see what he can do. Just take it slow and easy. There you go. A complete novice. Well, I won't say complete. He's been out kayaking with me before, but he's never been in a skinny boat. You know, he's very tentative, but that's completely understandable. He's seemingly having no problem whatsoever. We'll see what happens when he tries to turn it. Way to go, Ben! Just take your time. Keep your nose over the center. Awesome boat. I think advanced paddlers are going to be able to lock, unlock the speed and as you can see a novice with maybe just a little bit of training and coaching and balance skills can handle this thing. Dude is looking good. We'll work on his wing stroke but hey this is his first time with a wing paddle also so this is this is an awesome outing for him. Hun, where does he get that from? Does he get those paddling skills from you? Probably not. <laughs> Great job.